officer, it's a mighty long way to that fort. Desert all the way. That's right. You think you can make it, do you, with all them desperadoes looking for that money? I sure try. Yeah. The bushwhackers don't get us, the Apaches will. Well, Mr. Gibbs, you know, you don't have to go along. Well, if you're fool enough to try it, I'm fool enough to go along. Legend of Wyatt Earp, starring Hugh O'Brien. When Wyatt Earp came to Arizona Territory, it was wild and raw. Civilization was represented by the city of Tucson, a few turbulent mining towns like Tombstone, and a scattering of army forts. Since the Apaches were a constant menace, travel was precarious, even for Wyatt Earp. Fifteen thousand? Well, that's what they say. The army payroll. Some blooming major carrying it on the morning stage. 15,000 clams. Yes, sir. You want to make a bet them boxes don't get to where they're headed? You figure somebody will hold up that stage? Why, for two cents, I'd risk it myself. There's your two cents. You fellas road agents? <clears throat> you mean to say you don't know me, sir? Can't say I do. Why, I've rode with the best. The Daltons, Blackjack Ketchum, Billy... Uh... Oh, sure, you know Billy... Uh, uh... Well, that's very interesting, John. I'm a United States Deputy Marshal. Well, now, uh, Marshal, sure, and I, that is, we were only joshing. That's the truth, Marshal. You see, he's a swamper over to Lucky Cuss Mine. Oh, he is, huh? Where'd you hear this rumor about the Army payroll? Why, it's all over town. Sure, all over town. Well, you stick to swamping. Kill it. Major Fletcher, Army Paymaster. You wired up? That's right, sir. Uh, glad to meet you. Heard about you. I just heard about you. Oh, that's so? Yeah, rumor has it that you're uh, carrying $15,000 on this morning's stage. Army payroll. Well, I don't know how it got out, Marshal. That's why I'm here. I got three months' pay for Fort Breckenridge, and I'm concerned about it. I don't blame you. I, uh, I've also heard the talk around town that the stage may be held up. As long as you could be sure it was only talk. Well, I've got one man riding shotgun, but I'd rather have two. I came to ask you to help. Well, Major, I can't leave Tombstone. I'd sure appreciate it if you'd go with me, sir. All the way to Fort Breckenridge? Well, we'd leave the stage at Benson and then ride out across the desert. It'd take two, three days, but it's government business. Why don't you have the cavalry meet you at Benson? Uh, they're too busy. I hope it's on Apache lookout. Fifty miles across the open desert with $15,000. I'd sure enjoy your company. All right, Major. I'd like to talk to my deputy first. Have him meet us at Benson with some horses and mules. Good. Stage lows in ten minutes. I'll be there. I sure appreciate this, Mr. Earp. <laughs> Glad you made it, Marshal. Here, wait a minute, wait a minute. I want those boxes hidden. You're only going to Benson, Major. The other baggage goes straight on through. I want those boxes in a safe place. Here, put them in the booth. Now I know how the word got out. Yeah? How? Oh. Major, it's one thing to be worried. It's another thing not to use caution. Uh, I guess I'm so used to transporting money, I... Uh... Well, there I go again. I just don't remember. Maybe you better start. Too late for that. I'm retiring in two months. Who are the passengers? 
Well, the boy's going home to New Mexico. And the lady? She's just uh, passing through, you might say. Came from Tucson. What about the other one? Rode in last night on the stage. Probably the only man in town don't know what's in these boxes. Or. Well, good luck to both of us, Marshal. Mayor? Uh, sure. Think there will be trouble, senor? Might be. You carry a gun? No. What about you, sir? What's that to you? I want to find out how much we can count on if we're attacked. Defending government money is your job, not mine. That tells me what I want to know. Passengers, hmm? They're kind of typical. Not suspicious of any of them. I'm more worried about road agents. You don't seem to be very worried, though. Oh, I'm used to this. How long have you been a paymaster? Almost ten years. Ten years? It's a long time for one assignment. The Army usually switches the officers around. I thought administration would lead to faster promotion. I was wrong. More coffee? No, thanks. You looking for something? That's right, senor. In my own package. You think I am such a fool as to try to rob him here? Could be checking the baggage to make it easier later on. You accuse me of being a thief, senor? No. Don't. I will kill you. You told me you weren't armed. I tell you I am no thief. I am a stranger, see? A Mexican, see? And of a poor family. The Holy Mother knows how we could use that money. Only a little of it. But I do not steal. I believe you. Get what you want. Senora. Senorita.
here, Major? No, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Mind if I join you? Oh. Marshal. Sure, sit down. Thank you. <clears throat> you do much traveling? A girl like me gets around, as you know. As I know? Marshals, always hounding people. I take it you don't care much for marshals. Well, I found there are two kinds of lawmen. The ones who won't give you a chance, and the ones who will. For a consideration. Which kind are you, Marshal Irk? Well, you won't have any trouble with me. That is, uh, of course, unless you plan to rob the stage. Well, maybe you'd talk different if I'd stayed in your town. You didn't stay. That's right. I didn't. I'm heading back east now. I'm going to start over. It's not too late. It's never too late. I'm getting out now. Not one minute too soon. I hope it works. It will. This time it will. Or Starting your last stretch to Benson. Yes, no or never. All right, Mr. Ketching, let's over. Watch his glasses. Major, you want to give out that money or take a chance on somebody getting hurt? Could we make it? Maybe. There's six outlaws and we've got four... three guns. Don't worry about me. All right, make a run for it. All right. Surprise will be in our favor. All right, we're going to try and run through them. If you slow down, make them think we're going to stop. And when I give you the word, give the horses their head. Yes, sir. Major, you take that side. Don't fire yet. Get down.
giving up. We got through. Thanks. How far are we from Benson? About an hour. It's an overnight stop. We better stay there. Why? You better just start our ride through the desert when it's daylight. Good morning, Howdy, what? Ah, shotgun. Good to see you. I brought him horses. You wanted? Oh, good. Uh, Major Fletcher, this is my deputy, Shotgun Gibbs. Glad to see you, Gibbs. Hey, are there rooms for us here? Oh, see, si, senor. But three small ones. A well, boy and I can double up. One for the lady too. How'd you take the third one? Shotgun and I will make ourselves comfortable in the waiting room. All right. We'll put the boxes in my room. I'll sleep with them under my bed. Sure you wouldn't like me to watch over them? Oh, they'll be safe there. He'll be right outside the door. Well, I... They're my responsibility here. I'm the one who'd stand court-martial. Oh, thanks. You say you're uh, two months from retirement? I said I was up for retirement in two months. I haven't decided about it yet. Oh. Retirement pay isn't much, you know. Of course, I'm alone. No family to support. Well, after all these years in the Army, you think you'd like being a civilian? I don't know. Why? Good night. Good night. Who was that? I don't know. Come on. Major Fletcher? Major Fletcher? Go get the others. Garcia! Come and run! What happened to him, boy? I don't know. He must have come in the window and sandbagged the major in his sleep. You get the money? Yeah, both boxes. What happened? Who Where's Carp? He's gone. He must have got up in the dark and slipped out his window. Yeah, slipped in that one. He hasn't got too much of a start. Let's go get him. Oh, wait a minute, You can't trail a man in the dark here. Wait till dawn. Give him two hours head start. Give me my boots. Ay, esto nunca nos había pasado aquí antes. Shut up. Venga, esto también. Trail wide. Look how deep them hoof prints is dug in. It's well loaded down. Sound like somebody a digging. just shoot he was gonna surrender I didn't think so what are you worried about he's a thief 
There are the money boxes. Looks like he's aiming to bury him. Come back later. Lock's not broken. Give me a hand. We'll get him on a horse. We can get him back to the station before the stage leaves. Why don't you just bury him here and go on? We've got a good start to Fort Breckenridge. A man is dead, Major Fletcher. There's certain legalities that have to be attended to. Well, I... This happens to be my job. And I'll give the orders. money box. Why? We're going right out. Not yet. What do you mean? Take him down. Here, what are you doing with my property? Unlock him, Major. You tell me why. I'll tell you why. You shot Cop for robbing him. Now I want to see exactly what he paid for. I don't like your implication, Marshal. I didn't expect you to. Now you're going to open those boxes or I have to shoot the locks off? Those are government property. And I'm a United States Marshal. Nothing but rocks. Where's the money? Maybe there never was any. In those boxes. Now you hired Cop to take those boxes out and bury them, so they'd never be found. Then you shot him so he couldn't talk. You're guessing there. Am I? You're retiring in two months, Major. Retirement pay isn't too bad. Helped out with $15,000. You could never prove that. I could if I found the money. All right. Where is the money? You hid it earlier? I gave it to somebody to keep for you. A lady, perhaps. <laughs> you. If it hadn't been for you, it would have been easy. Well, you're the one that asked me to come along, remember? That was to give you a perfect alibi, wasn't it? How do you find out? A look, a word here and there, and Carp's mistake. He should have patted his horse's hooves. What about the money, Ward? I think you'll find it in Miss Crystal's baggage. Go take a look. I'm sorry, Carrie. That's all right, honey. It was only a dream, anyway. Tried. I wish you had tried something legal. Sorry, man. Well, he cleaned up the country, the old Wild West country. He made law and order prevail. And none can deny it, the legend of Wyatt forever will live on the trail. Oh, Wyatt Earp, Wyatt Earp.